don't take it like too seriously. I I'm gonna go outside and enjoy the beautiful sun. Hey guys, what is up? I'm literally freezing my ass off. I was just wearing this puffer mask because it is like sunny, like it's a beautiful day, but it's like cold right now because it's the morning. But today I'm filming a productive day in my life because I got a lot of shit to get done today. I need to drive an hour away for a COVID test for the film industry. And then I got to drive an hour back. I just have a lot of shit to do today. So I'm like, this is a perfect day to film a productive vlog. You know what I mean? Day in my life type of deal. So that's what we're doing, freezing. I was literally wearing this super puff mask because it's so warm. I gotta get gas first thing and I'm debating if I wanna get like Starbucks because I'm hungry, I haven't eaten anything. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna go to Starbucks or not. We'll see. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got to my COVID testing. I haven't got in yet because I'm just gonna wait for my time slot, which is in approximately 10 minutes. Such a long freaking drive. Like I know it was like an hour drive, but it felt so much longer. Like I feel like I've literally been driving for the whole day. <laughs> like I'm honestly like already getting exhausted from driving. That was just so far. I need my coffee. I didn't end up getting a coffee because I was scared that I was gonna have to like shit my pants. You already know how fast coffee runs through us. So I was like, if I get a coffee and I'm stuck on the highway and I need to shit, what the heck am I gonna do? So that really scared me. Maybe I'll pick one up on the way home or maybe I'll just wait until I get home and make one then. So that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing because I don't wanna have to shit my pants on the way back either, so. Okay, I'm gonna just wait a bit in the car and then go get tested and then I just can't wait to get home. Thank God it's not during traffic time though. That would literally take me two hours to get home so thank God. That's my case. <laughs> So I just made myself a coffee and I did buy some high quality shampoo. It was so expensive, but it's an investment in my hair. I'll show you guys what shampoo I bought. Like I'll go more into depth depth uh, with it later just because like I need to finish a video right now and submit it because it's sponsored just to get it approved so I can post it by the end of the week. And I just got the news that I'm gonna be on set tomorrow instead of the day after. So I need to get more shit done today, which is fine. But my room is a pig side, like it's so disgusting. Just also had to take pictures for um, a sponsored Instagram post that's going up. So I got that out of the way, I ate. And then I'm gonna clean my room because in the back of my head, it's stressing me out and I need to clean it because it's absolutely disgusting. Like I don't know how it got to that point, which it happens all the time, but anyways. So we're gonna work right now, clean my room. Okay, let's do it. So I was just working and then my laptop started buffering and I think the coffee's hitting me at the same time that this was happening and I just want to go on a rant right now, a motivational type of rant. Having the camera to talk about things to is honestly the best thing ever. It's like a diary, you know what I mean? I realize that like you have to romanticize and fall in love with your life. If you're going to the grocery store, be present in that moment and be happy that you're getting food romanticize it look around you just appreciate the drive there put on some music like romanticize you're like put on your favorite songs just like grasp everything around you i'm just thinking about how important it is to literally be in love with your life because that's what's going to ultimately make you happy is loving what you do and loving your life i had an hour drive today as you guys know and i was driving and i was just kind of like zoned out then i'm like wait like this is so like i was looking at the beautiful fall trees around me like how the season changed and like the leaves were just beautiful the mountains and i'm like holy shit like this is my life like i was romanticizing it in that 
moment i was listening to a podcast and i was just like vibing like life is beautiful like every we take so many things for granted every day that we see so often that we don't appreciate them anymore because we're just so used to them everything that we do in our daily routines we're used to so we don't really notice anymore but try and like wake up and pretend like you know nothing like wake up like you're waking up in your life for the first time and try to experience it that way because it's going to help you like appreciate and romanticize everything so much more and yeah i was just sitting here and realizing like i'm so lucky with what i do like i absolutely love what i do for work love doing this youtube channel i just love the position that i'm in right now and i'm just so fortunate sometimes you just got to sit back and realize how far you've come because it's so easy to just not give yourself credit for how far you've come because you don't realize it because it's all happening kind of so fast but you think it's happening slow but then once you really look back on where you were a couple months ago or even a year ago and you look where you are now it's like look where you are like appreciate everything that led you to this point because at the end of the day we're here to enjoy this life and fall in love with your own life anyways that was my little spiel um my laptop finally stopped buffering it's not even my laptop that buffers it's like a hard drive that i edit off of it's slow sometimes because my laptop is like really good um just had to get that up Okay, so I'm about to just go on a walk with my dog because like I wasn't going to just because like I don't really have much time But I'm gonna take him out on a quick walk because it's like the beautiful day today And it's probably gonna be raining like for the next week, which sucks and he doesn't like going in the rain So I'm gonna take him on a walk for the last sunny day so that he can at least get a enjoyable walk in for himself Once I get home then we're gonna clean my room. So don't worry We're still gonna clean my room and I still have like some shit to get done today But I I did just grind and I did finish a lot so we're on track we're good and i need to get some movement in anyways today because i really have been just sitting driving today and sitting on my ass doing work so i'm gonna go outside and enjoy the beautiful sun let's go okay come on okay let me get your harness wait let me put your harness on don't back away so <laughs> come here he literally heats his harness come here come on no, <laughs> just running away. Sue, <laughs> come here. Okay, I'm putting it down. I'm not using it. Sue, come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Gotcha. Finally clean up time. This is quite embarrassing. Um, one thing just led to another. We're just gonna clean it. Wish me luck. shampoo that I got today. It was a very pricey shampoo, but it's by a really good brand. So it's Avita. This is the one that I got. The color is so cute. It's like a dark green. A strengthening plant powered damage repair shampoo. And she said that this is like the best of the best. It smells so good. So basically Avita is like cruelty free. They like are sustainable. They use the best ingredients. It's organic. Like everything about them is just good. So that's why it was a very hefty price point. But I know that like investing in real good quality shampoo is gonna be good for your hair in the long term, especially because I don't really like spend money on my hair that often. Like before getting this keratin treatment and getting my hair cut, the last time I saw a hairdresser was literally like a year ago. So I don't really spend money on my hair. So I decided that like might as well put the money into getting like good quality products, shampoo and conditioner from now on. So that it's gonna sustain like my keratin treatment and just be better for my hair overall in like the long run so yeah once i use it i'll let you guys know how it is but the packaging is just super cute and the brand is just overall amazing so i know like the bottle looks small but you said it should last a long time and you only need like a tiny bit like a little bit goes a long way so let's hope she's right because this was expensive anyways so yeah that's the shampoos that i got if you guys want to look up the brand evita then go ahead i think you can probably buy it online but the hairdresser that i went to had like 
whole bunch of Aveda products. You can maybe even look in a salon near you, but it's only gonna be sold in like a salon or maybe online. You're not gonna be able to find it at like a drugstore. Even though the other shampoo that I used was sulfate free, it was still Pantene and their price point was about like $10 a bottle. That just means that if it's sold at the drugstore, they're probably not using the best ingredients. Even though it's sulfate free, they're using other bad ingredients I've heard. It's like just like shitty bad quality ingredients as opposed to the more expensive shampoos that they're using like really good quality ingredients. So you definitely get what you pay for. But yeah, that's my shampoo. Hopefully it does a good job. I mean, I'm sure it will. It was literally $100 for those two very hefty price point but you know what it's okay we're investing in my luscious locks okay okay guys so i just wanted to end off this vlog by giving you guys a shampoo update so this made my hair so soft so smelling good i just washed it last night and it smells so good i mean it's so soft overall shampoo is 10 out of 10 great for my hair good for the environment cute packaging clean my hair very well so okay so to just tie into what i was saying earlier don't take like too seriously i feel like in the society we take things very seriously which is normal i guess you know we take work seriously we take our everyday lives seriously and we hold um ourselves under a lot of pressure all of the time for sometimes no reason and at the end of the day it's like we're all here for a short amount of time, we're going to die. And like, life isn't that serious. It's obviously good to do good at what you do and everything, but at the same time, you have to realize that like, we're here to enjoy and you don't need to put so much pressure on yourself all the time. You don't need to be so serious. Literally at the end of the day, nothing matters. Society is a man-made thing that when we die, it really has like nothing to do with the afterlife. Yeah, so just don't take things so seriously. Do what you love. At the end of the day, put your happiness first. Put yourself first. Love your life. Do things you love. And don't stress out. Like whenever I think that I'm about to stress out or when I was in school and I had like a test and I'd be stressing out, I would honestly just like think about like the grand aspect of everything and just like zoom myself out. And there was this video of like showing a little us on this little earth and then it's zooming out from like our earth and like showing you the huge universe around us and it's like damn we're really nothing here so at the end of the day who cares who gives a shit do what you want do what you love don't stress because it's not worth it you go through things for a reason it's obviously sometimes inevitable to stress but it shouldn't be something that like is literally overtaking your life literally when i'm about to stress out that's what i do i just think of us on this little tiny earth in the huge ass universe and be like wow enjoy it romanticize it fall in love with your life Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Please leave any like video recommendations that you guys have down below. I love you guys so much. Bye.